All right, I'm finally doing it. I promised for like months now that I'd eventually do another uh, whatever these are called, the showcases, card concepts, whatever you want to call it. I promised I'd do it, and I'm finally doing it. So this one is, uh, here goes my microphone. Great start to the video. I'm not cutting that out. I like keeping bloopers in. It adds to the charm. Anyways, this right here, I'm finally doing the showcase for Super Saiyan Goku Black, a manga crossover. I've wanted manga cards in the game for a while. If you follow me on Twitter, it's shameless plug. You would know that I say this like every week. And oh, I just realized did I like miscolor his eyes yellow? I can't tell. Whatever, doesn't matter. Point is, Super Saiyan Goku Black manga crossover. You might be wondering why this is the leader of the crossover. Well, exactly what I said, manga crossover. So I feel like if there is manga cards that get into the game, they might be like on the crossover category because technically it would count as a crossover if you think about it because a lot of it is focused more so on the anime. They don't really focus on manga stuff, even even though they do have some manga stuff in the game like the Zamasu Super Attack, but that's that doesn't matter. You know what I mean. And Time Travelers, I feel like, would be another good lead for him. Um... It doesn't really matter what the second lead is. I'm not too focused on the leader skills, more so the card itself. Um, but I did put Q plus 4 for both of these, HP 150, attack and defense plus 170. Pretty standard, uh, except new crossover leader with like a huge boost that isn't a hero's card. Uh, super attack. This one, I went with a raising defense, a stacker, like every Goku and Goku black card in existence, defensively oriented. Well, kinda, you'll see as I go on. Raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, standard stuff there. The main focus is him stacking his defense greatly with each, with, with each attack. Can't even talk. It's like 11, 30, whatever, when I'm recording this. Sorry if I'm, like, kind of out of it. Anywho, down here we have his passive skill. I just gave it a random name. Same for the super attack, I just gave him random names. Because this is based on the manga, there was not really names for the attacks he uses. I'm just going to call this one Divine Volley. Uh, I didn't put a picture up on here, but it's when he's just throwing a bunch of Key Blast randomly. So it would essentially be that. And for his passive skill, Impressive Evolution. I think I think the name sounds very Dokani. Um, attack and Defense plus 159. Gotta put that 5-9 reference in there for the Goku number, the funny Goku number that they put in every Goku card. Uh, key plus 2, plus an or up to plus 4. And Attack plus 20, up to 59. Once again, I put that in there with each attack received, so he kind of works like some of the other Goku Blacks when they get attacked, they get stronger, except this one he gets offensively stronger when he gets attacked, instead of defensively, because as you'll see, he has reduced damage, which everybody loves, minus 40%, so he's going to be very, I mean, he stacks defense, and he has damage reduction, so he's going to be pretty, like, defensively sound, I might have made him a little too overpowered, so... I don't know. Might have to change that to just raise his defense or whatever. I don't care. I'm not too focused on the super attack. Again, more so passive skill. Uh, also, he performs an additional super attack when facing pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, which is pretty busted, as you probably imagine. It's kind of like what Cooler has, uh, except it's an additional super for Goku Black. So, it's going to be pretty helpful, especially when you raise defense and everything. So, like I said, now that I'm going through this, I'm realizing he might be a little too defensively good, but everyone likes busted cards. Who cares? Again, not too focused on the super attack. Um, counters with tremendous power as well. I don't know why. Got a combo. And the reason I put counters is this thing right here when he does that little barrier against Vegeta. I think it's cool. I think it would be cool for him to have a counter. Oh, active skill too. In case he wasn't enough in his passive, he got an active skill. Attack and defense plus 59 for one turn, and stuns all enemies for one turn. It's kind of inspired by Jiren's a bit. That's where I got most of that inspiration from. Uh, and it would be this animation right here when he... Well, animation. It would reference this panel. When he does this little thing to Vegeta. Obviously, this would be a stun attack. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Links. Uh, pretty standard for Goku Black. Big Bad Bosses. Fear and Faith. Dismal Future. Fierce Battle. Super Saiyan. Cold Judgment. Prepare for Battle. Nothing crazy. Categories, also nothing really crazy. Um, Romo Gods, Patara, Crossover, Exploding Rage, Super Saiyan, Future Saga, Time Travelers, and Human Deed, Crow to Body and Mind. And you might be wondering, um, Realm of Gods, because 
Uh, some people forget, like, the other... They, they're weird with Goku Black. They just put him on there because he's a god. Um, it's not like Doka, um It's not like Legends, in case you, you're more focused on that game. It's not like that, where they just only put people in godly transformations. He would be on here, realistically. And that's pretty much it for him. He would be the main unit. Oh, Extreme Tech. Forgot to mention that. And these are just random numbers. You can ignore them. The name I put for him, Imitating the, uh, Imitation of the, excuse me, I messed up my own name. Imitation of the Legend, Super Saiyan Goku Black, because he's imitating Goku, the Legend, the Super Saiyan. And it's him and Super Saiyan, so I think the name works. I'm patting myself on the back. You know what? I don't know if you could hear. That was me patting myself on the back. I, I hope that didn't sound like something else. Anywho, on to the secondary card on the banner. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I was gonna say, I got the title wrong, but there it is. Super Saiyan God Vegeta, Divine Defiance. Because we don't have many Super Saiyan God Vegetas in the game, we have two. And one of them is locked behind a transformation, uh, and the other one is it's kinda outdated. I mean, both of them are kinda dated by now, but the Broly movie one, which is the only like standalone God Vegeta in the game, kinda outdated, yeah. Uh, another crossover lead, he's a 130 lead, but also Future Saga. Key plus three, and oh, I don't know why I stuttered there. Key plus three, one thirty percent everything. Standard, uh, super attack. This is the interesting one. It's based on the God to Blue switch that he does in the manga. I mean, they could do. I, I'm sure eventually they're gonna do something with Goku for that when he does that in the Tournament of Power from the anime. But if they do this Vegeta, it would be cool if they did that manga reference. Uh, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage to enemy. Another stunner, great chance to stun because. When you look at what the attack is, he just switches randomly, and it's meant to raise his attack completely, so the fact that it greatly raises his attack in this game, it would be pretty fitting, and the stunning thing, because it kind of caught Goku Black off guard, um, I think that works pretty well. And here is the animation for his super attack, when he does the God to Blue switch, you see. And this would be, um, I was, I, I don't know why I put this picture in here. I think I I've, I originally built him with a counter, but then I wanted to do that for Goku Black instead, so ignore this picture. Um, passive skill, perfect reflexes because, again, good reflexes to do this technique. Attack and defense plus 150. He's kind of inspired by Goten, the new Super Saiyan one in the Dell's banner. Uh, attack and defense 150. Perform an additional super attack when facing Realm of Gods category enemy, so kind of like how Goku Black is except different categories and not as diverse compared to Goku Black, because he's a banner card and not a Dokkan Fest. Um, perform an additional attack with a medium chance of becoming a super attack, so that's what he gets to make up for the fact that he doesn't work for two categories like Goku Black. And again, here's the Goten inspiration. Ooh, forgot to capitalize this. Forget that. That's like the least of the mistakes in this video. Anyways, crossover, key plus three, attack and, att bleh, attack and defense plus 40. Again, I know Crossover has other cards, but assuming that there's going to be more manga cards in the future that based themselves off the Crossover category, you kind of want to have more of those working together, because the Dragon Ball Heroes cards only really work with other DBH cards, so this is in preparation for more manga cards, and the fact that I'm using that category at all, I mean, I would like a manga original category, but if they add, like, a dope, like, consider this, if they just add these two cards to the game, They'll be the only two on the manga category unless they add Zamasu and the Blue Evolution Vegeta that has a super attack kind of inspired by the manga. So it would be four cards at most, likely just two because Dokkan's very picky, but you get what I mean. Lynx, also pretty standard for future Saga Vegetas. Super Saiyan Over in a Flash, Warrior Gods, Fierce Battle, Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race. It's going to link very well with the other Vegetas just like the Goku Black links well with the other Goku Blacks. Categories. Now, he's got a lot of categories, and a lot of good ones. Realm of Gods, Vegeta's Family, Gifted Warriors, Bond of Master and Disciple, Crossover, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Transformation Boost, Siblings Bond, Worthy Rivals, Pure Saiyans, and Battle of Wits. Uh, you might be wondering why this is on here. It's because in his super, he literally transforms in a super attack, so that's my reasoning behind that, and I think that's sufficient enough to put him on this category, even though he's not like a transforming card, or he didn't just transform into God in the scene. Uh, that's sufficient enough in my eyes, so, yeah, he's got a good amount of categories, he's got a dozen of them, like, every Vegeta card ever has a bunch of categories, this is just another one, and that's pretty much it, 
Um, I did, I, I did want to make a free-to-play concept, but to be honest, I'm more focused on another concept that I'm doing. Um, so eventually that video will be out. It's a dual Dokkan Fest, and I have a couple free-to-play cards for that one. This is just a quick one that I've wanted to make for a while, and the renders here are obviously not from, they're, they're from a, however the hell you say it, Buchigiri, Buchigiri, whatever it is, match, and I just recolored this one, and then this one is actually just a regular God Vegeta render. So that's pretty much everything to cover, and the music even stopped. Perfect timing, too. Uh, I'm going to put that back on so it's not awkward silence. But yeah, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know, because I like doing them, and I'm kind of doing this video to gauge if you guys want to see more of this, because honestly, like, come on. This is, I like this. I want a God Vegeta card. I'm not, I'm not as focused on this guy. I'm more so doing it for this guy, but I don't, do, I don't feel like he'd get a Dokkan Fest. At least not this one. It would be Broly Movie Vegeta that probably would get a God Dokkan Fest. Who, who cares though? That's a different thing for a different video. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, let me know below, and hopefully you enjoyed. See you on whatever video is next. Goodbye.